This right here is one of the best things I've ever gotten for FPV. And I've realized something. I posted a video of the Perot Frame Sloop review, and in that video, I stripped out some press nuts. And y'all's comments, some of y'all's comments, made me realize that you have no idea why this thing is so good or how it freaking works. I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're gonna learn something today. Some of you are. Those of you who already know why this is great and how it works, you're just gonna nod along and go, yeah, I knew it was that good. Some of y'all are gonna learn something today. Obviously, this is an electric driver, but it is way different than other drivers that I've used. For example, this right here, Von Haus electric driver. It could be straight, it could be right angle, you know, that looks familiar. And it's got a adjustable clutch here that lets you set the amount of torque that it's gonna put on the screw. And that's cool. If you set that amount of torque correctly, then you will get perfect results every time. You won't see the problem with electric drivers like this is that they will strip out screws if you go too hard on them. And that's why I actually don't use these a lot of the times. I'll use hand drivers. But what makes this DeWalt driver so awesome is that it is gyro controlled. So it doesn't have a clutch or a torque setting. What you do is you push right here and then it comes to life and then you rotate it. You rotate it. You literally twist your wrist and rotate it. And the amount that you rotate it controls how hard it torques. So here I've got a very small 1.5 millimeter screw holding in this prop. And the first thing I wanna show you is that this, if you don't push the button at all, you can just use it like a manual screwdriver. So I'm just gonna put this in and I'm gonna just twist it. And of course I can just do that. It's just a very big, heavy screwdriver. So if you really do have a very delicate piece of work that you don't trust the electric motor to, you're fine. But I'm just going to very carefully twist the tiniest bit and it will move the tiniest bit and it's not gonna strip. And if I'm putting it in, do you see that I can give it just the tiniest bit of careful torque and it will screw in and stop. You have so much torque control with this thing. That's why the people who were like, of course you ripped out the press nuts. You were using a driver, don't use a driver and you won't rip them out. That's why I was like, you guys don't get it. You don't get how this works. I have all, I have just as much torque control as if I was doing this with a hand tool. In fact, what I'll often do is I will just drive it in until I hear it start to back up and then finish it by hand manually until I feel the amount of torque that I want it to have. You have all the control in the world. See, it's not moving yet. Give it a little more twist. Now it's moving and now I can back it out. I got this. Now, this is not just useful for driving screws. You can also <laughs> use it as a prop tool. And the thing that I like most about this driver for putting on prop nuts is actually its lack of torque. You see, the very first time I used a driver to put a prop on, it the clutch wasn't set right. So it was just at full torque. And I went, and then as soon as the nut got to the bottom, the motor just went and tore up my hand. And I was like, oh, well, that was dumb. I guess I won't do that again. This thing has enough torque that it will fully drive down the nut, but then it, that's it, it stops. And then what I like to do is again, I'll just finish it with a little bit of eighth turn or a quarter turn by hand and I'm good. It's good to go, it's amazing. Likewise, when you're taking it off, it, you can just kind of break it loose by hand and then finish it electrically. This is the best, but it's not gonna be the best if you don't get the right bits and the right uh, socket to go with it. So for driving props, you are obviously gonna want an eight millimeter socket, but I'm gonna highly recommend you get this exact socket. And what makes this so good, first of all, is it is a single piece. So I don't, in a case like this, I don't wanna have a bunch of different sockets that I have to put on. I just want a single piece because this is the only socket I'm gonna be using with this exact tool. The other thing that makes this socket unique is that it is a deep socket. And that's important because on some motors, the motor shaft sticks up enough through the nut that it can 
cause the socket to not, a normal socket to not be able to bite. As far as the drivers go, once again, I like to have dedicated drivers that I can swap in and out as opposed to like a holder and then little bits that I can, it's too easy to lose the bits. And I like these long shaft drivers as well. They let you get in places that you can't get sometimes with just a little th chunky bit. Um, and these are made by uh, MIP. They are unfreaking believably good, uh, but they're also a little bit expensive. There's actually a tool, a multi tool you can buy that comes with a bit set and the bits fit in this driver and are, I think they're nearly as good as these expensive MIP bits. And I'm going to put links to all of this stuff down in the video description if you decide to pick it up. Um, if you do decide to pick it up, when you see how much it costs, you might go, oh my God, that's too much. And that's what I said for years uh, when I saw all my friends having these cool drivers and I was like, I can't, I'm not spending that on just a driver. Uh, but my friend Phantom FPV actually sent me this for Christmas some years ago. And uh, I have to really thank him for that every time I mention this on stream. Okay, so now you know how this freaking thing works and you can decide if you want to pick one up for yourself. If you are looking for a driver, this is the one to get, in my humble opinion. It is usable both for stronger things like putting on your props and for delicate things like putting in little 1.5. That's the thing. The big drivers that the guys wah, their props on with, you're not going to use those on like a little M2 screw because it'll just strip it out. This has the exact right balance of delicate fine control for small stuff, but just powerful enough to like get your prop nuts on. It's the best. Links in the video description below. That's it. That's the video.